in the family of God. And we thank you for that adoption this morning, Jesus. We thank you that we can call on the name of Jesus and it shall be well. We speak for healing. We speak for uh, financial blessings. We speak for um, those that are mourning victory in the name of Jesus, comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. And we give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've come to praise God today. We've come to worship him. We've come to honor him because he alone is worthy. How many have come to praise God? <laughs> We've come to praise him. We've come to glorify him. We thank God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Love you. Every praise to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our
just so amazing. We had another set planned, but God, <laughs> but God, but God, but God, but God. And then I got confirmation. After I changed it, I got confirmation. So I know this is God. We got to be led by God. We'll have our plans. Sakana no kusakande. Sinana no kusa. We'll have our plans. But what about God? And you know, we have to be mindful and be willing to go with God. <laughs> so we're going to sing another song that wasn't on the menu, but this is for God. Okay? So we want to just think about the words of this song because sometimes we got to go through. Sometimes we got to press through the mess to get blessed. <laughs> Hallelujah! Sometimes we got to press through the mess to get blessed. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So we want everybody to sing it. Thank you, Jesus. Don't have to worry, beautiful. And don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Troubles, they don't last always. For there's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears.
gave his church a promise. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Do you believe in destiny? No matter what may come your way, your life, your life, your life is in his, it is in his hand because he loves you. He cares for us destiny. No matter what may come our way, our life is in his hand. The great promiser, the great comforter, our great and mighty God, troubles, trials, it doesn't matter because he has told us he has already overcome these things. So when we rest in him, we have no fear, no matter what, sickness, death, troubles, no matter what destiny. morning to sing praises unto him as a united people. Good morning, good morning, Destiny. Good morning. I'm here to bring the announcement, but we just have to exalt our mighty, mighty God because it's for him. The reason we're here this morning is because of him, because of his goodness. We didn't have to be here this morning. We went to sleep and we woke up because of him. So we thank him. We thank him. You may have your seats. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Here are the announcements for the week of May 5th, 2022. Welcome to everyone who has joined us here in the sanctuary for worship. On behalf of Pastor and our First Lady, we say welcome. We also welcome those who are joining us on YouTube. Our prayer is that the Lord will make his perfect will a reality in your life. His perfect will, a reality in your life, and that our worship together this morning will be uplifting to your spirit. So we don't want to leave the same way we came in, right? We came in with burdens, we came in with concern, but we also came with a praise. So I pray that the praise will override everything else that is happening in our spirits this morning. Amen? Pastor Patrick is not with us today because he had surgery on an injured shoulder last week. He's requesting that the congregation keep him in your prayers. Today, our guest minister is Reverend Joseph Evelyn, who is no stranger to us here at Destiny. Amen. Our children will not meet today for Children Church. However, our children will be meeting next Sunday to receive ministry at their level. To God be the glory. God is still answering prayer. I don't hear an amen. God is still answering prayer. Amen. Join us tomorrow for noonday prayer on Zoom only. We encourage you to submit your prayer request before this time, if at all possible. So tomorrow at noon, we will be praying from 12 noon until 1 on Zoom. Amen? The Bible study series in the book of James is scheduled to continue this Tuesday evening. The session begins at 7.30 p.m. This is always an excellent time to study the Word of God. We meet for prayer every Thursday. We can never pray too much, right? We should be praying every day. But on Monday, we come together as a body, and on Thursday, we come again as a body. Every Thursday evening in the prayer room at 9 o'clock sharp. This is a very short session, but it's very powerful. Half and off intercession, often including testimonies of answered prayers. We are grateful. Amen, amen. We are grateful that many new persons are being encouraged, encouraged by this intercession. Thank you, Lord. We encourage everyone to visit us at www.destinycathedral.org for more information about this ministry. Various forms can also be accessed and completed through our website. Amen? Amen. And now it's given time. It's giving time. 
It is more blessed to give than receive. That's what the scripture says, right? So we are about to experience the gift of God through our giving. And to encourage us, we can, uh, I'll read from Luke. You can turn to it if you like. It's Luke 21, 1 to 4. And it says, As Jesus looked up, he saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. Truly, I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave from their gifts out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on. That is faith. Amen? So as we go into the word of God, as we listen to what Jesus described as right in terms of giving into the kingdom of God, you can never be too poor to give. That's what it says, right? You give the best you can unto the Lord. He honors everything. Your faithful contribution to the ministry are necessary and greatly appreciated. You can contribute by way of Zelle or PayPal by using the email contact at destinycathedral.org or by way of checks or money orders payable to Destiny Cathedral, Inc. Mail all contributions to Destiny Cathedral, Inc., 536 South Franklin Street, Hempstead, New York, 11550. Zero. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, we give you praise this morning. We give you thanks, Lord, for the week that has gone before us, Lord Jesus. Those of us who've been at work, those of us who've been at school, Lord Jesus, those of us who've even been at home, oh God. Father, we give you praise and thanks for bringing us through another week, Lord God. Father, your word says that if we do not praise you, the rocks will cry out. And Lord, in Destiny Church this morning here in Hempstead, Long Island, in New York, Lord God, we want to defy the enemy who wants to let us know that we should not be praising, Lord. We refuse to let, we refuse to let the rocks cry out, oh God. And Father, Lord, we cry out in praise and thank Thanksgiving this morning, Lord Jesus. We thank you for all of the unseen things that you have prevented, Lord, in our lives this week, oh God. Father, the accidents that you have made sure we haven't gotten into, Lord Jesus. Father God, all of the things that the enemy has placed in front of us, Lord, we thank you, God, for breaking down every stronghold that would allow us to be here this morning in good health. And God, we give you praise and thanks. Lord, as we prepare Oh God, to hear your word, Lord. I want to bring the pastor who will bring your word before you, Lord. Father God, we pray that your word this morning will fall on soil that is ready and rich and prepared to hear your word. Lord, we pray that it will not fall among seeds that are not ready to grow up, that it will not fall among rocks that will stifle your word this morning, oh God. But Father God, I pray that every soul, whether we are here in the sanctuary or we are on Zoom, Lord God, I pray Pray that even now you will prepare our hearts to hear your word. Whatever it is that you have to say to us, Lord God, we open our hearts this morning, oh God, to receive it. Father God, and even as he comes before us, Lord, we bring the needs of Destiny Church and its members before you this morning, Lord. Some, oh God, are here this morning with financial needs. Father God, the bills, Lord, are stacking up. The children's tuition needs to be paid. Father God, the Lord are looking a little bare this morning, oh God. But Father, we come before you, the great provider, oh God. And Father, we have not forgotten that your word says that you will provide for your children, Lord. And Father God, I pray that miracles, oh God, will be performed today, Lord. And Father God, bank accounts will receive good news. And Lord, mails this week will bring good news to those who need a financial blessing. And oh God, for those who need a spiritual blessing this morning, 
I pray, oh God, that your word will remind us, oh God, as to who we are in you. Father, the enemy has been working over time, and as people have been home and away from church, the enemy has been turning people's minds, oh God, and he's been getting into people's ears, and he's been telling people that you are not who you are, but we know this morning that you are Jehovah Jireh, the great provider. We know, oh God, that you are still the God who heals. We know you are still the God who comes in and heals marriages, oh God. Father God, and so we bring every family that is represented here and on Zoom before you, oh God. Whatever the need is, Lord Jesus, we pray, oh God, that at the end of this sermon, Lord, people will stand and give you praise and thanks for meeting those needs. We pray for those who need a healing touch from you this morning, oh God. We know that we serve a risen Savior. We know, oh God, that that is one of the reasons you went to Calvary's cross so that you will be able to heal. Father, you said that every strike that you took, you said that by those stripes we are healed. So God, we claim it this morning in the matchless name of Jesus. We claim our healing, Lord. Cancer, you have nothing over our Lord Jesus. We know, oh God, this morning that diabetes has nothing over our God. Father God, we know that any ill any ailment that we're suffering this morning, oh God, you are able to heal. Father, your word says that if we have faith as tiny as a mustard seed, oh God, and Father, we lift our tiny faith up to you this morning. And for those who have bigger faith, Lord, we cover those whose faith are not yet matured, oh God. And Father, Lord, we thank you for meeting the need of healings all over this country congregation this morning, oh God. And Father, we begin to lift our hands and give you praise and give you thanks. Lord, we pray for homes that are broken apart by drugs, by alcohol, oh God. Father God, be defiant in the name of Jesus. Satan, we come against you in Jesus' name. Father God, we take up your blood, Lord Jesus, that was shed for us, Lord God. And Father, we praise you and we give you thanks cover every household this morning under your precious blood so that when the enemy knocks on that household he will see the mark of the blood he will know he has to pass on by this is destiny congregation and i can't go in father god we thank you lord we praise you oh god heal marriages this morning that are falling apart bring children who have gone away from you back to the fold Jesus, bring mothers and fathers who don't know you and are giving their children a difficult time to come to church. Father God, we pray that this morning a word will be spoken, Lord God. If they're not listening to a service, let your word convict them this morning, Lord Jesus. And Father God, we pray for freedom. We pray for freedom for those who are captive by the enemy, Lord Jesus. We come against every plan. We tie it up, Lord God, and we send it back to the pit of hell from whence it came. And we claim victory this morning in the name of Jesus. We claim victory this morning in the precious name of Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that's here this morning, oh God. Satan, we drive you out in the name of Jesus. We stomp on your head. We stomp on the serpent's head in the name of Jesus, oh God. And we claim victory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father God, settle your servant spirit that he come to bring your word this morning. Reduce him, Lord God, and we increase your Holy Spirit within him so that the word will be given through your sermon and through your servant, Lord. Father, we pray for our pastor who is not here with us this morning, God, and we pray that even now he will feel a touch from your hands, oh God, from the very crown of Pastor Patrick's head to the very soul of Pastor Patrick's feet. I pray, oh God, that he may feel the Holy Ghost traveling through his body, healing his shoulders, Lord, and anything else that we may not be aware of, oh God. 
we thank you for the doctors who perform the surgery but we know that you are the mighty healer Lord God we know that you made that body and you know better than any doctor and we pray that even now we claim that healing in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray for his wife who stands beside him in everything that he says and everything that he does. Lord, your word says, who can find a virtuous woman? We thank you because destiny has found a virtuous woman, oh God. And Father God, we pray that you will continue to, te to touch her body, Lord, and her soul and her spirit. Heal her broken heart, Lord God. Father God, remind her that in everything, you are God. You are eternal. And Father God, that in everything you are there to heal and to comfort and to bring peace. And Father God, we pray, Lord, for our other minister who is not here with us this morning and for her husband, oh God, who is ill in God. And we pray even now you will bind them together in thought, in word, and in deed. Let them be on the same page, oh God, as they make decisions, oh God. And that that page is ordained by you in the mighty, in the matchless, Oh, hallelujah. In the mighty, in the matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and shout hallelujah. If you agree with the praise, shout hallelujah. Those of you on YouTube, type hallelujah. We agree with the praise. Hallelujah. 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 Sherebabasai city and the Hallelujah. The gates of hell shall not prevail. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Join with me, put your hands together, remain standing as we welcome Reverend Joseph Evelyn, all the way from New Jersey, Warriors of Christ, our very good friend. Not only your friend, but destiny, we consider you part of us. You know that. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I like what David said. I, I, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So I want to greet the Destiny family this morning. Praise the Lord. Our Pastor Paul is not here. Praise the Lord. We've been praying for him, knowing that that amount of pain that he's going through at this present time, just yesterday was chatting with him, and the amount of pain that he's going through. And I, I think of Christ when they nail those um, spikes in his hand, and the amount of pain in you know today you got various medicine for pain but in the days of christ instead of they give him something to subside the pain they add to the pain by vinegar they give it to him even making it worse but we know that our pastor paul will have a speedily recovery and he will be back praise the lord within this pulpit so praise the lord great lady cheryl and praise the lord our, our sister our reverend sandra who who's not here, and her husband, and all of the Destiny family. So thank you. But before I get going, um, Lady Barra is here, and she wants to sing a song. So I'm going to give her that opportunity to come sing before I get going. Hallelujah. So at this time, welcome. Um, well, there, Lady Barbara. God bless you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> He said, I want to sing a song, but really it's him that wants me to sing a song. A little correction. To God be the glory. Amen. Praise God for life. It's a privilege. It's a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. I would gladly trade my all for just one moment. If I could feel the joy that once 
was mine to share. I would lay aside my wealth and greatest treasure if I could feel again the touch from God's own hand. Broken dreams and shattered dreams are all I have now. Troubled waters seems to hover o'er my soul. All I see is life dark guilt of disappointment. I can't make it, Lord, I have no place to go. Touch me one more time by thy spirit divine. A touch that I have felt so many times before. Forgive the times I've tried and failed when Revealed. Help me, the Lord, to know your will and touch me one more time. I am asking, please forgive our failure and forgive. still been wrong there is no peace of what Christ without this matchless treasure Lord just touch me and I know I'll be made whole I am asking Priceless treasure. Lord, just touch us and we know we'll be made whole. Oh, touch us one more time by your spirit divine. The touch that we us one more time. Touch us one more time by your spirit divine. The touch that we have felt so many times before. For Help us, dear Lord, 
me one more time hallelujah and I believe every one of us could say this morning to the Lord to touch us one more time praise the Lord we greet all of those out there in YouTube land praise the Lord glory to the praise praise and I'm glory to the name of the Lord as we give him thanks in praise in glory in honor and thanksgiving praise the Lord just for those that Join us on Sunday evening for Bible study. We wouldn't have Bible study. Those in YouTube land and those in the destiny, they join us, praise the Lord, on Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. We're going through the book of Hebrews, and I believe it is a great book. Praise the Lord. But this, this morning, we want to give every honor, every glory, every praise, every thanksgiving unto our God this morning. We have all gone to sleep. And we don't know, we just open our eyes and it is morning. None of us know what happened through the night. But it is God who watches over his children. It is God who protects us in the night season because there's a thief that comes in the night. But glory to God, we have a watcher who watches over us. Praise the name of the Lord. So the moment we open our eyes, the first thing we want to say is to give God thanks and give him praise and give him glory and give God honor and give God thanksgiving because of who he is hallelujah and all that he's doing for us there are times we are not mindful of what God is doing. Nevertheless, he remains faithful. Hallelujah. He does not change for anyone. So we give God glory and praise and thanksgiving for who he is this morning. I want to thank our dear Pastor Paul. Hallelujah. Glory to God for giving me this opportunity. Praise the Lord to come. Hallelujah. And to encourage the saints of God. Hallelujah as he have called me um, last week, hallelujah, in the middle of the week, being got to go through this surgery, glory to God, I want to say that God always have you ahead, hallelujah, so somewhere along the line, I know that I know that I know, glory to God, but I want to thank this great man of God this morning, hallelujah, for allowing me to come, glory to God, and to encourage the children of God. Also, thank our dear Lady Cheryl. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah this morning. I said it so many times. Hallelujah. Just be a minute with me. Destiny could not get a greater people than Pastor and Lady Patrick. You have the best. You can't get no higher than that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And because I have known them so many years, nothing has changed them situation condition didn't change them they still remain who they are in God praise the Lord one more thing before I get going I don't know I was talking to Pastor Paul and last week I was thinking of a great pillar in this sanctuary and his family I don't know for what reason when God brings someone before me I like to pray for them because sometimes I don't understand why. And this great man of, man of God is right there in the booth. And no other than Brother Owen and his family. And you know what? God take back my mind to the veteran, the veteran place where they used to bring all the music in the car. And they would, and um, Adrian, and they would unpack those, those music out of that car. Everyone walked into that uh, sanctuary and they enjoy that service, but at the end they are gone. And then Brother Owen and Adrian have to pack back up. Sometimes I shake my head, uh, not in dismay, but wow. Till I have to ask Adrian, how do you guys do it? Said, 
is a sacrifice. So I remember this man, hallelujah, a great man. He's standing there, hallelujah, glory to God. He may not say much, but he is a great pillar and a great force in this sanctuary. Hallelujah. Working with our dear Pastor Paul and Lady Cheryl. Praise the Lord. All right. All of that, I'm going to get into my message this morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Taken out of the book of First Peter chapter 5 and verses 10. Hallelujah. And thus it reads, But the God of all grace, who have called us, Unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that we have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Hallelujah. If I should read from the Eastern Standard Version, they said, And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ with himself will restore you, confirm you, strengthen you, and establish you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So my topic this morning, the God of all grace. The God of all grace. Hallelujah. Father. We look to you this, this morning and giving thanks and praise to you. Hallelujah. I like what the songwriter said, for I remember Calvary. I remember Calvary. Jesus shall lead me night and day. Jesus shall lead me all the way, for he is the truest friend to me, for I remember Calvary. Father, this morning, we look to you. Can do nothing without you this morning. We are grateful for who you are. Your goodness, Lord, your favor, your loving kindness, your grace, and your mercy unto us even here at the Destiny Cathedral, those in YouTube land, we thank and praise you this morning. So much to exalt you for this morning. So much to give you praise for this morning. So much to lift you up this morning and honor God this morning. When I think of the world, in the world they are lifting up their own. Whether it is on the field, whether it is netball, basketball, or whatever they are having, they lift up their own. But this morning, we want to lift our voices in this cathedral and give God some glory. I said give God some praise and give God some honor and give God some thanksgiving because I want to say, God, you are worthy to be praised. You omnipresent and who can be compared with you this morning God let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight oh Lord my strength and my redeemer hallelujah hallelujah I said God want destiny to give him praise to give him praise to give him honor even when we do not understand we need to give God what is due unto his name and that is to praise God you will be surprised what God will do as we began to praise him in this sanctuary. We will be surprised what God will do. However, that's not my message of praise. Hallelujah, glory to God. But we want to talk about the God of all grace. And that's why we should praise him. He is the God of all grace. Here we have before us the apostle Peter, hallelujah, writing to believers 
who are being persecuted, who are suffering under the hands of the enemy, and Peter is writing unto these saints in various parts of Asia, hallelujah, letting them know that the God of all grace, who have called us where? To his eternal glory. <laughs> There's not many calling. People call us to the White House. People call us to some higher position in the corporate world. People call us to various things. And sometimes if that thing look good, we run to it. We will move on to it. But the God of all glory, of all grace, has called to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. By who? Not by Buddha, not by Selassie, not by Muhammad, not by Joseph Smith, hallelujah, not by Sun Young Moon, but he said, he who has called us by Christ Jesus our Lord. And if God have called to his eternal glory I don't matter what we are faced with I don't matter the situation that's what Peter was saying to the sins who are suffering in, in Asia Minor hallelujah God who called you is able to do to keep us and strengthen us and help us from falling hallelujah hallelujah I love the calling of God he called Samuel, and he called David, and he called Abraham. But, but what Peter said here, that the God of glory, the God of heaven has called us together through Jesus Christ. Now, hallelujah, I like that. Hallelujah, glory to God. Now, they're suffering physically, they're suffering spiritually. Sometimes we go through suffering physically. Hallelujah. Just like the church being persecuted, folks try to hinder the church. The church have no, not yet um, now been tried to be hindered. All the way back to the first century, people tried to hinder the church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But here, Peter is reminding them, hallelujah, glory to God, that in spite what you are suffering, God is there. So some suffering is physical and some suffering is spiritual. The bottom line there, we got to know or discern between the two. And for many saints, they do not discern. Many times we look on, we rest on the physical. And sometimes it's not a physical thing. We are only seeing the manifestation of something like physical, which is coming out of a spiritual something in the atmosphere. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, so if I'm going to pray, I have to know if it is physical or spiritual, and the Spirit of the Lord will enlighten us how to pray. Hallelujah. I said he will enlighten us how to pray. So not all suffering is physical. I said not all suffering is physical. To the church at Asia, it was a physical suffering. But when we fast forward to our 21st century, Christians are faced both with physical suffering and spiritual suffering. And very few can discern between the two. Hallelujah. It's like going to the doctor and he's saying, I don't see anything wrong. But yet, we are feeling sick. You feel like you're going to die. And the doctor is saying, nothing is wrong. We had a sister that I, I prayed for many years ago. She went to the hospital because she felt sick. And the doctors ran every test they could on her, and they couldn't find anything in the physical. Everything come back negative. 
So in those days, they will bring a psychic doctor in the hospital. This was Queen Elizabeth's hospital right in Babylon. So the psychic doctor came to her, and he said to her, so this, your husband go to church? And she said, yes. And he said, what church do you think I mean? Which and we already know where this man was. In the sense, what was happening to her was happening spiritually. And guess what? The psychic could not help her. Neither could the physical doctors help her. But the God of glory. But the God of glory, who have called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, step in. Step in and deliver that woman. Till that lady rise up and build a church for the glory of God. She's gone on many years now with be the Lord, but she's gone through, she passed through, she died a natural death. And just let me give you one more before I get going, because the church's eyes must be open today. I said, our, the church's eyes, and not just destiny or, or words of Christ, but the entire body of Christ's eyes needs to be open. There was a man who was glad when I leave Barbados and come to the United States of America. Because he stood hard against the church. But when the Lord led me and a few pair of warriors there, it took a while to destroy his plans. And I'm not going to go into details because I won't want to scare you. But God stepped in and destroy his plan. And again, I'm talking about the God of glory, the God of all grace. Hallelujah. Step in and brought deliverance to that congregation. Says of God, <laughs> I'm not going to call there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God, but I just want to get into what Peter is saying. Hallelujah. As he, as he writes to this to the, to the church at Ephesus and what were, they were going through at the present time. My suffering. I like what Peter said. The apostle Peter lists another name in the New Testament for God. He called him. The God of all grace. Now, when we look in the Old Testament, they call him El Elyon, the God most high. Then they call him El Olam, the everlasting God. El Roy, the God who sees. El Shaddai, Elohim, Jehovah. Jehovah, hallelujah, Jireh, Jehovah Nissi, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rafi, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Shema, Jehovah sinking you. But Peter said in the New Testament, I am going to call you the God of all grace. And the God of all grace is for the rich. Not so rich for the poor, glory for blacks, for whites, for pink, or whatever color. The God of all grace can reach, doesn't matter who we are. And Peter called him the God of all grace. Now we know what grace means. We always said grace means unmerited favor. Something we did not deserve, but God give it to us. But grace also means a, ben, a, ben, a beneficent disposition towards someone. It gives favor, it gives grace, it is gracious, it cares, it helps, it has goodwill. 
graces that qualify for are based on anything deserved above the recipient. Grace is what God does because he is gracious. Every action of God towards us involves grace. His creation, his providence, his conviction of sinner, his gift of salvation, he a quickening of the sins and future and and in the future he was prepared for, and the future he prepared for us. All of this is due to God's grace this morning. That's why Peter said, if I am going to glory, I am going to glory in God's grace. I am going to glory in Jesus Christ. I am going to glory in the Elohim. I am going to glory in the one that is of all grace. Don't matter who you are, this grace reaches everyone. Now Peter came to a second part of this. It's a part of the ministry called suffering. And suffering is something that us as human beings is not, do not like. It's, it's, it's like an enemy to the human family, suffering. Because when God has created man, God never created man to suffer. Amen? When God created us, man, he never created man to suffer. God created man that man might live in the presence of him. Man may live, get everything he need in abundance. God will um, support him. God will give him food. God will give him everything that he needed. So man didn't have to worry about anything until sin came in the world. Suffering comes through sin. Sin hardened the heart of men. Hallelujah. And causes them to do contrary things. That's why Peter now is writing to the saints in Asia, hallelujah, letting them know that God, after you have suffered a while, I like that, after you have suffered how much? A while. That means, that means suffering will not continue. Suffering will not outlast grace. Suffering cannot outlast grace. It cannot weary out grace. <laughs> I said suffering cannot outdo grace. It cannot weary out grace. Because God said unto, unto um, I think it was to Paul, my grace is sufficient. When, when Paul said, Lord, remove this, God said, my grace is sufficient. On the other hand, that's what the devil will want us to believe. I'm going through something. Huh? Mm. And the devil is saying, blame it on God. Blame it on the husband. Blame it on the wife. Blame it on the children. And he, he, can, he, can, he, can, he can do it at a snap of a finger. He always got an answer. But if we believe, has Peter let the church of Asia know the God of all grace, suffering will not outdo grace. It will not. You know why? Suffering is not of God, even though he allow it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lady Cheryl. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God do not tolerate or God do not, hallelujah, indulge in suffering. He allow it, he allow it to happen. When Barbara and my, Lady Barbara and myself tell folks 
what we are going through, they tell me, God allow it for a reason. Because God has something greater for you. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, grace, nothing the enemy do can outdo grace. The enemy has been trying at us. If you think that we know evil, he has a PhD in evil. You think it is a joke. They have tried everything they can to bring me down. And not, and Lady Barbara, not because of something that we have done. We give you everything. We move away from everything. And now you're saying, I'm not satisfied. I want your life. <laughs> I want your life. But here again, grace. Grace. And Peter didn't just say grace. The God of all grace. <laughs> we can't get no higher than that. We can't get no wider than that. We can't get no bigger than that. He is the God of all grace. Hmm. Oh, my Savior this morning. Holy Ghost. Somebody need to know. Someone need to understand that you are the God of all grace. We may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. And just when we think it is over, God is saying it is not over. <laughs> Jesus, destiny, when we think it is over, and nothing is wrong with that. As the as human being, we can't think that way. But the God of all this is sufficient, and He is saying it's not over. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my God, this morning, this afternoon, when we begin to go through something, we are ready to throw in the towel. We are ready to give up. I cannot bear that. Oh, glory to God. Let me tell you what I do when I am going through something. I look to the cross. And I look at Jesus hanging on a Roman cross. The nail could not stop him. They put the nails in his hands. They nailed his feet. They put a crown of thorns on his head. But God, who is greater, said, I will help you to this. So Jesus has gone through the greatest suffering that any human being can know. And not because he has done something wrong. Not because he has committed a crime. But because of you and I, Jesus, Enjoy it all. So I looked at him. I looked at him. I looked at him. I keep looking on to him. I believe the day that we take our eyes off of Jesus, that's where the enemy will step in. 
you but see you know if you were in the world this would happen to you these things will not come to pass look at you you talk about you serving the God of heaven you're talking about you're serving the God of all grace you're talking about Jesus you're talking about the Holy Spirit you're talking about your speaking tongue look look what is going on look what is happening and so forth and so on hallelujah and all Jesus tell me to do resist the devil and he will go said but Jesus paid it all and all to him I owe sin have left the crimson stain but he watches <laughs> watching as snow so even though a sin have left the crimson stain Jesus blood watch it away Jesus blood washes it away and we are still talking about the God of all grace. I mean, I could go on all afternoon talking about the God of all grace. Hallelujah. Paul to the Africa said, For by grace we are saved through faith. And this is not of our own doings, it is the gift of God. Not as a result of works, so that no one can boast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then he went on also to say to them, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the, in the heavenly places, even as he chose us in, in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He loved us, he predestinated us, he adopted us in himself, and, and through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of the glorious grace which he has blessed us in the beloved so here Paul is talking about glorious grace hallelujah so now he's saying something hallelujah after you have suffered a little while I will restore you I will what I will restore you and another word, I will make you complete. It is just temporary. Sometimes you got to look at your neighbors next to you and say, what I'm going through, it's just temporary. It is just temporary. It's just a bump in the road. It's just a bump in the road. It's not over because I have come into a situation afraid I tell folks this all the time if I have to face death I have no fear of it that's me personally me glory to God and I stand my ground hallelujah because I know that I know that I know that it can never be over until the eternal God says so Because this is the confident that we have in him. That if we shall ask anything according to his will, we know that he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, we have the petition for the thing we have asked of him. This is the confident. You think that Peter was just standing up and saying, the God of all grace? He was an eyewitness. He see what Christ has gone through. And he listened to all the, the, the compound names of God that was given God in the Old Testament. But Peter said, I will call you the God of all grace hallelujah for what they have gone through for what you have faced with God grace is sufficient 
sins, never doubt the grace of God. Grace of God is upon our lives. Many knows and many may not know. Many may not get to that great understanding that the grace of God is on our lives. What God allows, he allows for reason or purpose so that his purpose might be fulfilled. When the Jews came to Jesus and they said to Jesus, who did sin? This man or his parents that he was born blind? Jesus said near neither of the two but that the works of God might be manifested through his blind eyes. Mm. Mm. They have never seen blind eyes open till the council said, how did your eyes get open? He said, a man called Jesus has opened my eyes. They still didn't believe. They said, bring his parents here. And the parents came and they said, is this your son? They said, yes. They said, but we know he was born blind. But how he see? We don't know. They were compromising. They were compromising. They didn't want to lose their seat in the congregation. They didn't want to be cast out of the congregation. Let me tell you something. If they cast you out, Jesus will not cast us out. And he stood his ground. That's what I love about that man. He said, you could be his disciples. Because like, it's an amazing thing he said. You don't know, but Jesus opened my eyes. The power of God is real. The power of God is real. That's a whole nother subject in itself. Because if we walk in the light as he is, in the light we are going to have fellowship and we are going to see the manifestation of God so grace will restore you mm, I love that grace will make us to be strong after we have suffered mean it enables us to stand fast in the trials in the situation, it makes us firm by striking us. It put us in a steadfast place, a firm foundation, a secure foundation. That's all that Peter was saying to them. Glory to God, that after you have suffered a while, he will make you perfect. He will perfect you. He will perfect us. How can we know the great power of God as I'm coming to a close? We will never know the power of God until we are going through something. Until we are faced with something. God just don't say, let me give you power because I can give you power. For me, as an example, I passed through many deaths, and, and I don't have the time to talk about them. I think I was sharing a testimony that said, from the very beginning, the devil wanted to kill me, from a little boy. From a little boy. Hallelujah. I have passed through much. But from a little boy, Minister Versi, I give my life to Jesus. I was about 10 years old. When I give my life to Jesus Christ, and after I give my life to Jesus Christ, death come a lot of ways. You know the Bible talk about death comes through your window? But let me say something. We got the power, whether or not we want to believe it, we got the power to say to death, not today. I will not accept you until God says so. They will know 
Once you know that you know and you sense it, send it back. <laughs> you think every death that control me in this of God? There's a cunning device. The church of Christ got to wake up today. There are those who send death. There are those who sense death. And somebody was said, yeah. And if we are not sensitive enough to the spirit, we will do it. But I have passed through much death. Physically and spiritually. But God grace. You're on the severe attack. I mean, folks attacking tree because right by one. I don't realize they couldn't defeat me. So the giant two more. And God showed up. <laughs> I said the Lord shows up. And I said to them, you have no power over me. Why am I seeing all of that? When we are faced with situation, don't give up. Amen. Don't give in. Amen. Stand your ground in Jesus Christ. That's exactly what Peter was saying. Listen, I know you're suffering. I know you're going through something. But the God of all grace, after you have passed through it, will perfect you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, in, my, in these final remarks, unless Lady Carol tells me where she is coming from, I cannot identify with her. You know why? What made me say that? Not, not for Lady Cheryl. But the thing is, unless you know where I've been and where I'm coming from, you can't identify. And sometimes, sometimes you know what we need to do? Hold our peace. Let that person tell you. Where they been? How they got out? How they got over? They defeated the enemy. How Jesus over them? Glory to God. Sometimes, folk church for the say, hey, "What she saying? Oh, what are you saying? You know what they say? Those things they cannot identify." with you hallelujah glory so see if you step into spiritual warfare hallelujah you need people who understand spiritual warfare to fight hallelujah hallelujah and it's not an easy thing it's called warfare it gets bloody so Peter is encouraging the saints of God that the God of all grace, when you suffer, you pass through, you're going through, he will establish you, he will strengthen you, he will bring you over. And Peter is not talking about Buddha. Buddha is dead. He's not talking about Selassie. He is dead. Even though a lot I want to go back to Ethiopia and talk about Selassie. I want to let with destiny know Selassie is dead. All of those who still try to hold up Joseph Smith, I want to tell you this morning, you will go to Joseph Smith's tomb. That is where he is. But any man visiting the tomb of Jesus, all they are going to see is an empty tomb. He's no longer here. He's risen. He's risen. It's not Muhammad. It's not Muhammad. You know, but listen to an individual the other day. And like in between, you gotta, you gotta read between the lines. And this is somebody in authority. They were praising up Ramadan. And I don't have any problem with Ramadan. 
I don't have no problem with any, hallelujah, and any, glory to God, anyone that's Muslim. Because I love Muslims. I've been there. I talked to them. But Muhammad could not bring Peter could not say, say, say to the people that Muhammad will deliver you. Joseph Smith will deliver you of the Mormons. Buddha will deliver you. Hallelujah. But no, he said the God of glory who have called you unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after that you have suffered a little while will make you perfect. Destiny, this afternoon, we serve the true and the living God. God wants to have relationship with his people. That relationship is not what it is. Hallelujah. But God, and I'm not just talking destiny, but the body of Christ needs to build back once again a relationship with God. The world is trying to denounce him. Hallelujah. But once we are walking with him, there's nothing he will not deliver us from. And that's what he said to those, to those saints in Asia that were suffering. God wants to perfect us so that when we stand up, we can encourage somebody else. We can encourage somebody else. You know why I encourage folks that who have been going through the, the shadow of death? Because I've been there. You know, even in a prayer and fasting, Lady Cheryl, the devil was trying to kill me. Even in prayer and fasting, when I was a young believer, when the very last breath was coming up, I sensed the very last breath coming up. And God is saying, no way. I go to church and begin to testify. And the elder said, God has revealed. And I began to pray. And I began to pray. And I began to pray. So... When God will deliver all of these in Asia who have been suffering, those will be giants in the house of God. They will be strength in the house of God. They will stand up and declare the holy, the whole counsel of God, knowing no one can deliver after this sword but the Lord himself. And you can stand my final words. Moses, God said, I have seen, and I have seen, and I have seen the affliction of my people, and I have come down. Grace didn't just come down at Pentecost or at, on, at the, in the New Testament. Grace was always there. For no found grace in the eyes of the Lord. So grace was always with God. But today, we are seeing a manifestation of grace like never before. Let's all stand. And you may say to me, Robert Evelyn, this is all good, but you don't know. There's a saying, nobody knows like us who wear the shoe. And when the shoe began to squeeze the little toe, only the individual knows that. Hallelujah. But even when the shoe, hallelujah, is squeezing the little toe, God will say, I will provide another pair that that toe can be comfortable. Hallelujah. So don't matter this afternoon. Hallelujah. Destiny Cathedral. Don't matter what it is. Stand. Because that's exactly what he said. I will restore you. I will perfect you. I will strengthen you. I will be there for you. And I am glad that God has always been there for us.
Hallelujah. As a family. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But God wants us to rise up and have that great fellowship. That great fellowship. You know, like God can take us up 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, and said, you need a prayer. You need to get up in prayer. Get up in prayer. And because, the rela- because of the relationship, we're going to get up. Tired, worn, but we're going to get up. And we're not going to see a word we don't understand what we're saying. Because any time that God wakes us up, we are right there. They're not like we are somewhere else and we are, oh, I'm trying to get all my bearings together and so forth and so on. No! Instantly, you open your eyes. God says, start praying. Hallelujah. So we could be in that place and build up that relationship with our God that God can, can minister unto us. Not only us, for those that he will bring our way that we can be an encouragement for. Shall we pray? Mm. Jesus. 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 Father, your word has gone forth. You just want to remind us that you are the God of all grace. And after that, we have suffered a little while. You will perfect us because you have called us to your eternal glory by Christ Jesus. We are not just any people. We are kingdom people. And God, you see destiny this morning, this afternoon. You know the needs in this house. You know what is going on in the heart. You know what is going on in the soul, in the mind. God, you know it. You know what the bodies are going through this morning. Many, God, in the physical realm could be high blood pressure. God, this morning could be cancer, some type of sickness. But you said, you're the God of all grace. It could be a physical suffering this morning. Something in the spirit realm causing a suffering to the physical man. And because that we only know from the physical side and doctors know from the physical side but they don't know what is happening on the spiritual side and what God that nothing that they do can help it but this morning we lift our hands to heaven we lift our hands to heaven this morning and we pray for destiny I pray God this morning we pray for every child of destiny this morning that God that you will minister lift your children up this day give them strength to stand in this day knowing that you're the God of all grace I pray and we pray this afternoon somebody will be touched someone will be encouraged someone will take a grip and say well, I am going to wake up I am going to stir up in me knowing that God of all grace will perfect me when I have passed through just this little suffering in Jesus Christ's name we pray amen and amen and amen. God bless you this afternoon, Destiny. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, that confirmed it. I didn't want to do that. But if anyone need prayer, you can slip up your hands if you want to come up here. We yeah. So we just give that moment, hallelujah, to anyone. You have heard the word. I don't know what is going on on the inside. I like to confess. I like to tell folks because I've been there. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I will come up. Prayer doesn't hurt. (laughs) Prayer doesn't hurt. 
And for a lot of folks who believe that prayer is over, because the way that things are going today, a lot of folks believe that it's useless to pray. <laughs> and you know that that's not coming from God. It's coming from the enemy. Hallelujah. In this day, we will pray and do more prayer. Hallelujah. We will continue to pray. And pray. And pray. And pray. Somebody got to stand in the gap. Someone got to be in the gap. Glory to God. Even for those who do not know what they're passing through, somebody got to stand in the gap. He is one. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Someone got to stand in the gap. Jesus. I know Pastor Paul stands in the gap. I know Lady Cheryl. I know the sin stands in the gap. But I need to stand in the gap for one another. I need somebody to stand in the gap for me. I need somebody to stand in the gap for my family. Hallelujah. I don't take nothing for granted. Hallelujah. Just like to stand in the gap. Jesus. 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 You see you this morning. This afternoon. Jesus. 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 For every soul. Mm. Jesus. For every soul that have the boldness to step forward. Don't care who's looking. Don't matter who's looking. But have the boldness to step forward here. Because they know that they know that they know. And Jesus have your people has come to you this afternoon. God, you remind us. It is just a reminder that you are the God of all grace. You have called us to your eternal glory. But not by none other than the Lord Jesus Christ. And after we have passed through a little suffering, you will perfect us. Whatever your people are going through this day, whether it is spiritual, whether it is financial, whether it is physical, mental, whatever need that is this afternoon, mental, spiritual, physical, financial, you said, I will perfect you. Even when there's no money in the bank, I will put back money there. When you are sick, I will heal you. Whatever mental issue that is going on, I will fix it. Because that I am God. I am your redeemer. I am your savior. I am your Lord. This afternoon hour, touch your people. Touch your people. Touch your people. Touch your people. In the name of Jesus, we look forward to see the perfection. In the name of Jesus, not in the far distant shall we see the perfection that we have gone through. You brought us out. Hallelujah. And you put us in a good place. You called us to stand in an even place. And for this, this afternoon, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Let God arise. Let our God arise. And let all of his enemies be scattered this morning. Thank you for touching. Thank you for healing. As Lady Cheryl comes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. As we sense the Spirit of God. Is still moving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're wonderful, God. You're merciful, God. 
You're awesome, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your grace, God. Your grace, oh God. We can do it without you this morning, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for your grace, God. Answer pray this morning. Answer every pray, God. For those on YouTube, answer their prayer. Answer our pray, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you're so wonderful. Be our comfort, oh God. Be our guide, oh God. Be our leader, God. Be our source of strength, oh God. Ah, oh, yes, you're so wonderful, Jesus. Come on, put your hands together for Reverend Evelyn. No, thank you, Jesus. No, you know that we don't normally uh, come back to ask for a second offering. We don't do that here. But today I'm following the instructions of the Holy Spirit. And we're going to come to you quickly as the song continues. Uh, the ushers are going to come to you quickly. We want to bless the man of God. Are you in agreement with me? We want to bless the man of God. He brought the word to us this morning. For those of you on YouTube, you can bless him as well if you would like. Hallelujah. And we pronounce a blessing. Even now as you bless him, I pray that God will bless you wonderfully, marvelously. Bless you in your outgoing and in your incoming. Bless you where you hurt. Bless you in your uh, finances. Bless you in your spiritual life. Bless you in your natural life. Bless you on your job. Hallelujah. Let the blessing sins of God flow upon you even now in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor as we bless your servant God in Jesus' name. He's omnipotent. Yes. Yes, God. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. The greatest honor to God is to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the worship team. I just want to mention, as Minister Versi mentioned, we thank Brother Owen, who is always in the back working with the tech team. So all the need, and he filled the need this morning. So let's put our hands together for Brother Owen as part of the worship team. And now you know that you've been seen, you've been heard, and we know that when there is a need, we're to come knocking, right? Praise God. God bless you. May God's face rest. Stand as we pronounce the benediction, please. Thank you. For those on YouTube, God bless you. For my family that's getting ready to uh, just eulogize my aunt, we are praying for you. May the God of all comfort, the God of grace, the God of comfort be with us. Be with each and every one of you, whatever you may be going through. Let God arise and the enemies be scattered. The God of grace. We heard it this morning so eloquently. The God of all grace. So may the grace of God be with you as you go this week. Let the Lord come cover you, shatter you, lead you, guide you, and keep you in perfect peace. May the joy of the Lord be your continence going forward in Jesus' name. To together we say, amen. amen. You can say better than that. Amen. 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 God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Thank you for joining us on YouTube. God bless each and every one of you. God bless you.